Well, hey everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to paint a zombie mask. This is gonna be fun. I use the Ed Edmonds paint method um, and this air gun, which is super cheap. It's like 12 bucks on Amazon. And uh, it's gonna be the color you want, which I went with a uh, flesh brown mix of house paint, a little bit of black with uh, latex um, and water. So just uh, one third of each one of those. So um, here we go, let's do some painting. going to take the the remaining paint that's left in this um, bottle here which isn't much and we'll pour it into a little cup you don't need a lot and then we're going to add some white yeah just some white to lighten it up. Um, but before we do all this, I'm just gonna make the paint real quick. I gotta let this guy dry. So I'll put it in front of the fan and then we'll come back with our dry brushing. It shouldn't take long for this to dry. We'll just add some white to it. Like about like that, maybe a tiny bit more. And this is gonna get the highlights the high points of all those wrinkles and stuff like that. And we'll mix it all up. So I see how it's that dark color and it should lighten up quite a bit. There we go. That's looking good. A lot lighter than what we got on there. Okay, we're back. Nice and dry and ready for some dry brushing. So this is again, base coat with some uh, white added, and this is gonna get the highlights. And this is a really cool effect, because after this is done, then we're gonna do a, uh, a wash. It's gonna get all the low creases in there. So what you wanna do is take a little chip brush and paper towels. and just barely get a little bit on your brush here. Just a little bit. And then you're gonna brush this on the paper towel. So just a little bit on the brush and then you're just gonna lightly brush over the mask. And you can see all the cool highlights that it does. Except for it's really shadowy, so because my lighting in here is not very good for this angle. Hopefully you can start to see how it's doing. Get a little bit more on there. This just adds a real cool layer. And it just, it just makes it look um, very, I don't know, that much more realistic, I guess. It just adds a lot and it's easy to do. It's just a little trick that's easy to do and it adds a ton. Probably get these eyeballs a little bit more.
Boy, let me try putting it on this side and maybe you can see a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Except for I'm left-handed, so my arms are going to be in the way. That's not bad, though. But you can see a lot better. See how much brighter that is? I'm just going to do these teeth, too, while I got it out. I don't think that matters too much because I'm still going to paint these white and yellow and all different layers to it. But I mean, you could do get away with just something like this. I mean, I mean, it looks sweet. There, that looks better. That's much better lighting. Just over all these wrinkles here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you are. We're back, ready for a wash. So a wash is gonna bring this guy, well, closer to life, even though he's a dead zombie. Well, I guess zombies are alive, aren't they? So, uh, but my opinion, yeah, each stage brings it a little bit closer and closer and closer to looking more realistic. But when you get to the eyes, the eyeballs, oh my gosh, that's when it's just, and I'm thinking on this one, I'm gonna do like eyes rolled back, I think, I don't know, we'll see. But right now we're gonna do the wash. So what we need for the wash is, um, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a uh, kind of a dark brown wash and it's called Sepia, FW Ink, Sepia. And this thing to be quite a bit darker. Um, and then we're going to use 70% isopropyl alcohol to thin it down. Mix it up, put your finger on the end there, pull back a little bit and it makes it all bubbly. Okay. That's what that is. It's a good nasty brown. So I'm gonna spray it in a lot of areas that I want to be darker, you know, like around the eyeballs. And you'll see here. Put some alcohol in the little cup. Then we're gonna take a nice rigid sponge. If I've got one that's too soft. Ooh, this might be a good one. Cut a piece off this guy. So, got this nice sponge. We're gonna just cut a nice piece off of it. I don't, the reason I want something rigid is because I want it to just hit the top. I don't, whoops. <laughs> I don't want it to go uh, into the cracks. I just want it to skim across the top. A soft sponge would kind of sink down in. It tends to do that. So watch this. Here comes the wash. Isn't that cool? Especially with all these wrinkles on there. Look at that. So fun. It just makes it pop out really well. Look at that. Okay. All those wrinkles, oh yeah. Neato stuff. <laughs> okay. I 
All righty. He is pretty dry, looking good. And now, I'm trying to think what we want to do here. Um, I think I'm going to do some spattering with some of this color, uh, antelope brown. Okay. It's a really gross, cool color. And uh, so we're going to put this into this little cup. Just a few drops like that. And then we're going to thin it with alcohol. And we're going to take our little chip brush, which I know I got one right there. Chip brush that's been cut, okay? So you can go like this. You can use a toothbrush too, but you can take just a toothbrush and do that, stir it on up. I like to brush the sides so I can see the tint that I'm getting. See, that's pretty heavy tint, which is okay. On this, I'm gonna thin out just a little bit more. I mean, this is a zombie, okay? This isn't like, I mean, this is rotten. And that's what kind of look I want, which is gonna be a little bit thicker and heavier. Now I like to test it down here, see how it's looking. See that splattering? I think I like that. So we're gonna do some splattering on here, just a little distance away from it. And it's just gonna add layers, layers and layers and layers. That might be hard to see in the camera right there, what's going on exactly but I'll scoot it up so you can see. See all those, okay, so there's spots that are in the sculpture, but then there's also these brown spots that are getting layered on there. You can see that, antelope brown spots. And we're just gonna keep layering it on there. That's good on that. And then what I would like to do is I would like to get some black in there. Maybe even like dark gray. So let's do the dark gray. So we're gonna take some white and black. And we're gonna mix these guys up. So we'll do Mostly white here to start with. And the black is very, it doesn't take a lot of this black to really make it. Put two drops in there. See how that looks. Add some of this. Alcohol. Mix it up, see that? Oh yeah, a nice gray color. Might still be a little too light, but we'll try it and see how it looks. So we'll give it a little test down here. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. So let's try that. So what I'm gonna do now is just going to kind of go around these edges, make it look a little bit crusty. Just very lightly. Doing the sags of the eyes here. Get a little bit of a black color. Darker. Darker color there.
<laughs> it's all blacked out. It's almost too white. I'm gonna add one more black dot here. This should darken it up a little bit more. And it's kind of doing shadowy stuff. Underneath here, underneath his cheekbones. And just a lot through one. Try to blend it in. Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking now. And now, let's get some different color on here. Um, now we're gonna do these teeth and eyeballs. Okay, so what I wanna do for the teeth is pretty bright yellow brown nastiness. So, start off with some white. the inside of that now, which is fine, just because this is over spraying a little bit into, the, into that area. Okay, and now... We're gonna go with some. Oh man, so I'm just gonna do layers of this real quick. Over it, just a little bit of white. Misting it, misting it. Put a little mist over it. Nice mist. Another layer. Just helps blend things together. Whew. Okay. Alrighty then. Rinse this white out. And 
And now, he exclaimed with great relish, and take the yellow, the brilliant yellow FW ink, and yellow up these teeth. And I might even put a layer of yellow on those eyeballs. And on the skin. Nice layer of yellow on the skin. Nice. That is brilliant. Holy smokes. Look at that. That's so cool. Very light layer of yellow on these eyeballs, like that. It's like, I don't even know if you can tell it's there, but it's there. See it in real life. There you go. Okay, and now we're gonna add in some antelope brown. This is just such a great color because it's so nasty. It's so nasty. Such a good color, antelope brown. Okay, now I didn't, I, I just dumped out the yellow, but there's still just a, like a little bit of layer in there because I didn't rinse it out. So just so, not that it doesn't make any difference, I don't think it is animal brown on this. Okay. Oh yeah. Get that nasty stained color. 